I, I, I'm going to go back to thinking about the, the also kind of ties into the idea of um, how you can also. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach uh, YouTube channel. I am so blessed today to be joined by the amazing Nicole Williams. Nicole comes to us from the Kidney Nutritional Institute. So, Nicole, thank you firstly for joining us and giving up your time to be here. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for that introduction and for the invitation. Oh, so are there any tricks or tips or, or ways that you can enhance that connection with your healthcare provider to really maximize the healing for you, knowing that how important that role is and what it can play? Is there anything that you would recommend to people? I would recommend um, to look for common small goals. And this, this also kind of ties into the idea of um, how you can also communicate to your provider if you're seeking alternative, alternative treatments. Um, finding small things that you can both agree on. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about basics. So um, you're diagnosed with this chronic condition. A small goal that you can both agree on is maybe you need to reduce stress. And you're right, that, that's it, you're, you need to reduce stress or um, you can agree on reducing inflammation as a really just simple example. And then think about if that's, if that's the one small goal, what are some safe treatments that we can start exploring? Or how, where does our partnership work as we're working on this one small goal, right? Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to even nutrition, focusing on um, the benefits of, of improving the nu nutritional diet for, for a client. I think nutrition is, you know, we know that nutrition is really the foundation <laughs> to health and to our body. Um, the other real side note really quickly, the other interesting thing about nutrition is most medical providers are not trained in that area, which is shocking. Mm -hmm. So, recognizing um, and part of asking those questions to your provider too, just so that you can understand what their limitations are. But is that a, another small, simple goal that you both, I, I want to improve my nutrition. Um, and so um, when you start there, I would say it can help to um, lower the walls or the guards that sometimes providers may have up or even the patient may have as they're speaking to their provider. And it, it becomes kind of a seed that you begin to plant mm. and, and just build that relationship from that one small seed. And I think what I hear really often is this idea of um, a resistance from a nephrologist on seeing a, you know, a, a dietitian or, or a nutritionist but once that patient starts to see improvements, their response is, you're doing fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, so, um, and so as you explore these alternative treatments, if you are seeing improvements, you're seeing the reduction in your stress level and anxiety, you're seeing the reduction in your inflammation, they're going to say, you're doing great, keep going. So it's just a matter of, I think, breaking it down in a way that's small enough that that provider feels that it's acceptable to start. It gives you the confidence that you're on the right path. And again, kind of plant that seed for a bigger and stronger relationship, hopefully. If someone does hit that unusual response, is there anything that you would rec recommend or say there? I, I, I'm going to go back to thinking about the the that being one piece of your bigger care team right so um and remembering that anything that you're doing for yourself that's improving your mind your mood your stress your outcomes small outcomes um in your um disease progression that's a win yeah and i think it's for you to decide what is a win for you what is success for you yeah, really, really good point. If you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Facebook forward slash Kidney Coach. Make sure you hit subscribe. That means you'll get notified anytime we do new videos. 
And we will definitely have Nicole back. I've sent her, her and I have talked about a whole pile of topics and she's got a wealth of information there that I would love to extract from her to be able to share with the community. So Nicole, thanks again. I really appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for being Thank part you. of our community. Bye. Bye.